guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep your smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is no copycat. Listen, if you are over there trying to be like somebody else, you are going to miss out at being your best you. And you're going to miss the people who you are called to reach. God has created us all unique, whether you're brown, blue, green, yellow, whether you're tall, whether you're short, whether you're skinny, whether you're fat, whether your face is full of pimples, whether your skin is clear, whether you're bald-headed, wear wigs, long hair, it doesn't matter. God has made you unique. He knows with your uniqueness, you're going to reach certain people. He knows with your uniqueness, you're going to get certain contracts. He knows with your uniqueness, you're going to marry this particular person. He knows with your uniqueness, you're going to have these type of friends. But if you are over there trying to be like somebody else, you're going to always feel what? Incomplete, never satisfied, working harder than what you're supposed to work. You are. And you're going to always feel like somebody is stabbing you in your back. Why? Because those friends that you have, because you acted like somebody else, when they realize and see the real you, they're going to leave. Because what they were attracted to was the person that you were trying to mimic. And when they realize you ain't that person, they're going to hit the road, Jack. They're going to say, no, we ain't clicking. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... Mm, yeah, it was good while it lasted. And you're going to say, they weren't loyal. They ain't loyal. You think y'all got beef. It ain't beef. It's that you were never you. Be who you are and be unapologetic. Y'all told y'all I'm from the South. I'm from Georgia. And y'all, y'all here I talk. I'm saying y'all over here. And sometimes I'm saying what your McCallers and whatnots and whatnot. See, y'all here coming out. But ask me, do I change my voice because of what people may think? No, I don't. You either set me up or you don't. And if you don't like me, I'm like, Ooh, I'm glad you told me your front. Because ain't nobody got time for your drama. Uh-uh. I want the people who God has called me to be around. And when you're being who God has called you to be, living in your uniqueness, you'll always have people around you that's called to you. You will. And you won't have to worry about people saying, it's over. Uh, like they're stabbing you in their back. Because guess what? They knew what they were getting when they got to you because you were being you. You don't have to copycat. Don't think that the only way you can be successful if you're just like this other individual. No, such lies. If you do that, if you think you have to be like a certain person to get success, then you will never gain success. I'm being so honest with you. And if what you call success is, well, I, I am successful. I'm just like them. I dress like them. I talk like them. I act like them. I, I hang around the same people like them. I even got the same cars they got. And I'm successful. That success will last for a moment. And in that success, you'll be so miserable. You'll say, why am I not happy? Why am I depressed and I have all of this? Why am I so depressed? It's because you ain't you, boo. You tired and woe out because you've been walking around talking like this all day. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yes, I've been having a great day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And your falsetto been on all day. And you know you from Georgia just like me. Why don't you just talk regular? People love to hear your uniqueness. People love, I love to be around people who are unique. I don't like fake people. Ain't got time for fake stuff. Fake stuff irritate me. If I wear fake earrings, I break out. And that's how it is with people. If people are fake, fake around me, I break out. Eventually, some start irritating me. Something is irritating me. Oh, somebody around me fake because I'm getting, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm catching a rash. Because you fake. Be you. Be the real you. Be your best you. And like I said, when you're your best you, you're able to reach the people God has called you to. Just like with me, y'all know I'm a God representative. Yes, I am. I represent my own business, and I do doTERRA essential oils, and I, I listen, I talk to a lot of people. And so when God is using me, I got to be who he called me to be. I got to talk the way he called me to talk. I got to see things the way he called me to see them. Because if I don't, if I ignore all of my uniqueness, I'm going to miss helping somebody. I am. I will miss helping somebody. So you don't, wanna, you don't want that to be your story where you could have helped somebody to become their best self. 
but you were so busy being fake. And there they are, still in a low state. No, no copycat. You do not have to be like them. You don't have to act like them. And let me tell y'all this. Sometimes you'll get people to tell you, you don't want to do it this way because this way doesn't work. What they're really saying is that it did not work for them. Just because something didn't work for somebody else does not mean it will not work for you. Because who knows, God probably called you to do what they're saying not to do to work for you. So go to God in, in, in prayer when people come to you say don't do it that way. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. When you seek God first, then he'll guide you. That's what God said, I will instruct you, instruct you and teach you the way that you should go and I will guide you with my eyes. He will. So when people get to talking saying this don't work and that don't work, I listen, I go, oh really? Oh, okay, but guess what I'm doing when I leave their presence? I'm going to try this. I'm going to do this. And guess what? Nine times out of ten, it works for me. Why? Because I can't go off of what doesn't work for somebody else. Because you just, you never know. God probably has, like I said, called it to work for you. So stop trying to be like everybody else. Rock out in your uniqueness. Like I said, whether you're tall, short, fat, skinny, pimples all over your face, clear skin, rocking out wigs, bald-headed, long hair, green, blue, yellow, purple. It don't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Tiny eyes, big eyes, big nose, small nose, big lips, small lips. Talk like me, talk country, or proper. It doesn't matter. Just rock out with what God has blessed you with and be unapologetic. Embrace it. Because I'm telling you, there's some people waiting out there to meet, they, they waiting on to meet you, they waiting to meet you. They just been sitting trying to say, I really want to do a contract and do this right here, but I have not found the person yet. I don't know who, I don't know who I'm gonna do this with. And if you over there being fake, they're gonna look at you, you and say, no, no, I, I thought I would do it with them, but no, that's not who I want you. Because you're being like somebody else. But if you will show them who you really are, be your best you, you the uniqueness that God has made you to be, they'll look at you again, take a second look and go, oh, that is, yeah, that's, yeah, I do business with them. I want to be around them. I can be friends with them. All because you're being who you are. Don't get overlooked because you're trying to be fake. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. Don't be overlooked because you're trying to be fake. Don't be overlooked because you're trying to be fake, okay? Be the real you. The one that God has called you to. I kind of hear that Eminem song in my head with a real somebody stand up. I forget the name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Let your light shine. The light that God has put in you, your uniqueness. And like I said, when you rock out with who you are, you will be satisfied. You will be complete. Why? Because you'll be in alignment with God. You'll be moving the way God told you to move. Speaking the way God has called you to speak. You will. And it will not be a headache. Even if you have to work hard, it won't seem like work. Because God said, well, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Which means what? If you're doing it the way God has called you to do it, then what seems to be heavy will be light. You won't be as tired. You won't be as frustrated. You won't. It'll be easy peasy for you. All because you chose to be the best you. And now you're able to reach everybody God has called you to. I don't want to miss anybody that I'm called to. I don't want to miss anybody that I'm called to. So I can't change up. I may change my clothes, but only because I like it. I may change my hair because I like it, not because I'm trying to look like it, look like somebody else. But I want to make sure that I'm being my best me. And when I do that, it doesn't matter what other people are doing, what they're saying, how they're going about their life. I'll bless them and say, oh, I'm happy for you. But I can't go your way. I can't do it your way. I can't. It makes sense. Think about it. That's why God chose different ones like Moses and Noah and Ruth and David, right? God chose them. He could, if, if, if they were, were not unique in who they were, then God would not have chosen them. God could have chosen anybody. But God said, no, I could choose them, but this, I need your character. 
to take care of these people. I need you, Noah, to build a boat. I could ask somebody else, but they don't have your uniqueness. I put this uniqueness in you because I knew this uniqueness would cause you to build a boat. Moses, I put this uniqueness in you because I knew you would lead the children out of, out of bondage, out of Egypt. And that's how God is with us. He's chosen you for a specific task. And that task requires your uniqueness, not somebody else's mask, not somebody else's laugh, not somebody else's uh, um, walk, not somebody else's procedure, not somebody else's idea. Only from you, only from your uniqueness. And the uniqueness about you is the God at core. God at core. He knows best. He can make no mistake when he calls you to be unique the way you are. Some of y'all are upset because you got a big nose or you got big lips or because you look like this or because you don't sound like this and because this, that, and the other. You better embrace what you're working with. And if when you start to embrace and love yourself for who you are and stop trying to change yourself, you'll see happiness will begin to flood in joy and success. People will start wanting to be around you more, want to do business with you more. Contracts will come in all because of what? They can see that now they are indeed called to you. Your people will reach you, not somebody else's people. Get it? You got it? Is it good? I hope so. But if you didn't get the same, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the magic smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.